Hey guys, we are at New York Comic Con in New York. <laughs> so this is actually uh, day number four of New York Comic Con. We held off on doing the vlog until the last day because on Thursday, what did we do on Thursday? I shot a little thing for Spicecape. And then on Friday, we shot Spider-Man and Chainsaw Man. We shot those videos. Then yesterday, we did Deadpool and Lucky was Makima. And now we're gonna go look around the con. So um, we usually spend this day to like uh, buy some merch and whatever, but we don't have a lot of space in our luggage. So I don't know if we could buy anything. Maybe a couple of things, maybe a couple of small things, maybe some apparel, we'll see. We weren't able to really look at the con so much. So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, maybe we'll check out the artist alley. Uh, we didn't, we only looked at like one half of like the exhibitor hall. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of other things. Hopefully I can show you some cool stuff and some cool cosplayers and so on and so forth. So yeah, let's see what's there to show you at New York Comic Con for day four. No, 
Oh no. Play on pad. I can't play on pad. Look how I'm playing on pad. I'm playing like this. So we finished playing Tekken. What? It was uh, <laughs> 11 to zero. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I didn't get no round brown. That's all that matters. She did good though. Good job. You're getting better. I can't even play on pad. And she was she was handicapped because she can't play on pad. So. But she did good. I She's getting better. I more than half my combo. <laughs> it wouldn't be that much better with stick anyways. <laughs> This outfit was brought to you by Atsuko. I'm wearing the uh, Atsuko Dragon Ball GT sling bag. I'm also wearing the uh, Atsuko One Piece Robin bomber jacket. You covered her face. Oh, did I? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta, you gotta see this. Wait. There you go. Wow. Looks. Oh, Very. Very cool. Pretty good. I love the Robin design on the back, and then, and then you got the. <laughs> Atsuko Evangelion button up tee, right? Look at this, right? Pretty cool design. And the Atsuko Naruto jogger sweatpants right there. You got Naruto, you got Evangelion, you got One Piece, you got Dragon Ball. And to top it off, this isn't Atsuko, but uh, I got some Demon Slayer earrings. I am cosplaying the ultimate weeaboo. All right, so our uh, New York Comic Con 2022 weekend is coming to a close. Our flight is in about five hours or something. Uh, oh no, no, it's a. We have about f yeah three three, and a, half three and, and a half hours before we have to get on the flight. So we're just gonna grab a quick small dinner and then uh, take a ride to the airport. Overall experience, for me anyway, I've been going to New York Comic Con. This would mark my 10th year in a row. Pretty much kind of stayed the same. For me, it's uh, the only thing that's changed, I think, is like there was a section, I think it was called the alley, or no, it was called the block. It was a place called the block. And basically they had all the like designer artists, but they're gone. It's mostly now like anime <laughs> streetwear, I guess. That's the new thing that's on that side. And then of course you have the big Bandai Namco um, 
boots. You had this huge uh, Shenron uh, floaty thingy with the Dragon Balls. There's this huge, amazing Dragon Ball superhero setup. Genshin had a really big setup. They had a huge line for like Paimon uh, cutout wigs. They had um, fake grass. Yeah, they had fake grass on the floor to make it look like the new, like, grassy world. But yeah, overall, the only thing I bought was a bunch of, like, these Dragon Ball pins. They're cute. Um, they're in my luggage, so I can't really show you guys right now. And uh, sh again, shout out to Atsuko for the, these sweats. She also got a pair of... I did! I'm matching! Yeah, she also got a pair of sweats and uh, for this really cool bomber jacket. So thank you guys so much. There's a lot of things that I liked from the collection, but I actually don't have any room in, our, in, my, in my luggage for anything else. So uh, I was able to get this jacket because um, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm wearing this on the flight. First, I wasn't able to like explore, or do any really New Yorky things. But I mean, besides like walking around and the one dollar pizza. Yeah, and, and, and the pizza. But I, I didn't really like walk around Times Square, or do anything really New Yorky. I we basically went to the con and then went back to the room to like to, for me to like work on editing and stuff. And then there was the two after parties I went to. Shout outs to uh, Sonic Boombox and Super Unofficial for inviting us. So yeah, I did basically, New York Comic Con was cool. Cosplays were cool. I didn't buy too much merch or anything. And um, my, the New York part of New York Comic Con, the New York experience was kind of um, uh, doodled down for me. I didn't do too much, but lucky here, this is her first time in New York. So first of all, let's talk about the con on your end. Like what, what you know, if you oh, enjoyed the con or whatever, uh, and then we'll talk about New York, New York in general. So, what about the con? The con's fine. It kind of just reminds me of San Diego Comic Con, honestly. It's pretty much the same. It, I I can't really pinpoint a big difference. I don't even think size is a thing. Like, they're both really crowded. So, it was cool though. I enjoyed I enjoyed it. It was fun con. I think the one thing I'm not really used to is maybe because like comic book culture is like different than like anime culture is there weren't ratio from like, uh, like quote unquote normies to cosplayers. There were a lot of no more normies. But the con itself was fun. Uh, the booths, everything there looked really good. It was kind of nice to see like some familiar faces because I have never been to New York so I didn't know who I would see this far out. A lot of really cool artists, a lot of talented like designer people nice it's very oh yeah nice. by the way another new thing i forgot to mention they have a gamer section now so we i played uh, video games. yeah you, you saw us play a, a couple of games of tekken that didn't exist back then it used to be just comic book sellers so there would be like comic book stores selling their you know rare amazing fantasy 15s and all that stuff but that is gone that corner of the exhibit hall is now just a gaming area, there was PCs, there was GameCube set up, uh, Switches, P uh, PlayStation 4s, so that's that's also no, uh, that's another thing that I noticed I was doing. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. That was nice, I like that, because it was kind of fun where you can just, you can walk in, there's no like no line, you just sit down and play video games, it's cool. Very good place to like chill and just sit down, because sometimes it's like you don't want to keep walking, you want to just sit down for a little bit and play a little video games, so you can do that now. Basically, the, it, this is a nice con. It, it was nice seeing all the cosplayers, the artist alley and the, all the booths there were really awesome. A lot of them outdid themselves, really cool. Talking about my New York experience though, um, I won't come back here unless it's work. <laughs> that's, that's basically it. I have nothing against people who smoke weed, but it smells like weed everywhere. Like it just smells like it everywhere. And I guess I have baby lungs because I didn't grow up around people who smoke weed every single day. So my nose has never been this irritated before. And uh, the next couple things, uh, it's the, the streets and everything. It's just not clean. And I'm like, it's it's so hard because everyone, like, there are people who like tell me to hype up like New York. It's like, oh, all the good food, all this thing. And I'm here like, I'm sure, but I also didn't get experience that, so I can't really say if that w maybe that would have made my experience better. But at the same time, I can enjoy perfectly good food back in LA, and I don't have to travel five hours on a plane to do it. So, culture-wise, it's not for me, and that's that's just me. You know, I people who live here and enjoy it, that's awesome. Good on you. I just don't think I could live here because there's literally garbage on the streets all the time, like 24-7, and it's really gross, and it, my gag <laughs> reflex has never been so elevated in my entire life. Bro! Why are there so many fat rats here? Like, it's one thing if they're like skinny and scrawny, they're fat! They look healthy! They're healthy rats! That just means they are living and thriving here, and I'm like, it's disgusting! You see rats in like movies, you know? Like, oh, it's a disgusting place, rats! I walk down the park and I see like four rats and they're so big and chunky and I'm like, also the pigeons here are really fat too. Then I'm like, dang, 
<laughs> what are they feeding these guys? But yeah, it's really cold. And I, I mean, I was prepared because I liked the weather, but then I should have packed more jackets, but my suitcase could only handle so much. But overall, it was okay. Don't think I'd really come back. I don't think anything's gonna really change my opinion on this. Okay. He likes New York. I mean, it's, it's fine. Like the weed smell, I mean, I, I grew up, my cousin I, smoked mm -hmm. weed all the time. So I'm used to it. I've got baby lungs, bro. But anyways, uh, that's our New York Comic Con slash semi New York vlog thingy. We didn't shoot too much of New York because we had work in the city and then Comic Con, we act, we were recording our other stuff. Um, a lot so, yeah. of good content. Yeah, good content. Um, but this is the only time, just today, Sunday, just for a couple hours, we were able to shoot some vlog for you guys and talk a little bit. Um, yeah. Hope you didn't mind the long ramble at the end. Uh, I, I wish I was able to show you more of the con, but we're running out of time. Sun's setting, it's golden hour right now. We gotta head to the airport. So, thanks for watching, guys. Love y'all. Bye. Bye.